Today, Rex Heflin is living outside of San Francisco, and when I found him, he had a story he wanted told. A story that began as just another day on the job and turned into something historic. Investigating traffic conditions, uh, I was checking the area and tree limbs had grown over some of the warning signs. It all started early in the afternoon of August 3rd, 1965. Rex Heflin was working as a traffic investigator back then on assignment near El Toro Air Force Base in Orange County, California. I had the camera ready because I wanted to photograph of these trees and the obstruction. That's when he noticed something in the sky. I knew it was something different. It was not a, uh, uh, definitely not a helicopter or uh, an aircraft as we know them. And uh, it didn't seem to have too much altitude and it crossed over in front of me and I uh, picked up the camera and took the first picture at that point. And it continued to hover in a slow motion um, to the right side where I got two more pictures. Rex made copies of the photos and shared them with friends. As word spread, a local newspaper did a story on the photos. The story drew the attention of top secret military officials. These days, we call them men in black. The uh, people who identified themselves as being from NORAD came. The men asked for Rex's original Polaroids. They didn't know he'd made copies. But they sort of demanded them. And so I let them have the pictures. I thought, what the, why not? In the meantime, Rex also made history in a different way, when the photos reached a wide, young audience. And when the Encyclopedia Britannica yearbook came out in 66, they uh, published a photo of it, and they classified it under spacecraft. But the originals themselves, they were gone for 28 years. Until one afternoon not long ago, when they showed up in Rex Heflin's mailbox. They were supposed to have been stolen kept by the Air Force, to have them reappear now is uh, quite a surprise. In fact, it raises questions. Why would it have come back? Who did bring it back? The uh, phone rang, and um, there was a lady's voice on the phone advising me to uh, check my mailbox. And I checked the mailbox, and there was a small uh, tan or manila uh, mailing-type envelope in there and uh, with my name on it, and uh, it had those photos in it. There was no postage, it was delivered privately. Rex turned over the photos to a UFO researcher named Ann Druffel. I would say that they are the most exciting and full of potential information that I have ever seen. And Rex Heflin, after all these years, He's happy to know that there may finally be some finality. And he manages to keep a sense of humor, even as he wonders how those historic photos showed up in his mailbox. Have you seen any, any other UFOs since? No, no. Uh, how and when did you Not get Not even after three martinis. <laughs> <laughs>